welcome to Ibrook Stadium in Glasgow, where you join us for the recorded highlights of this evening's Scottish Cup quarter-final tie here between Rangers and Dundee United. Well, the story of this tie so far has not been so much about the game, it's really been about the weather. And Sunday's game, of course, as you know, was totally washed out. Well, today in Glasgow, it started with snow, there was a little rain at lunchtime, this afternoon there was even some sunshine. At the moment, it's just about dry, and as you can see, the teams have just finished their warm-up. With details of how the teams will line up, and to describe the match for you, let's join our commentator, Jock Brown. And there's no Derek Ferguson in the Rangers lineup, but the strength of Neil Cooper has preferred the midfield to the guile of Ray Wilkins in what will undoubtedly be heavy going. And Davy Cooper is the second Rangers sub. And making his Scottish Cup debut, winning number five is Rangers' latest recruit from England, Mel Sterling, the £800,000 signing from Sheffield Wednesday, who scored in his only game so far for his new club in the league against Hamilton Eccles. And Dundee United are without John Clark in their defence, with Gary McGuinness wearing the number two. And that's a strong United squad with no fewer than nine full internationals in their starting lineup. And one of them is Paul Sturrock, now aged 32, but relishing his return to first team duty after so long on the sidelines injured. He starts a match for only the third time this season. So the referee in charge tonight, one of our top officials, George Smith from Edinburgh. He has officiated over the change round of the teams after the toss-up. So the sixth Scottish Cup clash between Rangers and Dundee United is underway, with Rangers winning an all previous ties once after a replay that was in the Scottish Cup final in 1981 so then the United really have to make history if they are to go through to the Scottish Cup semi-final by overcoming Rangers so the pitch in remarkably good condition after the deluge over the weekend there's Paul Sturrock it's hooked away by Ferguson they're made by McKinley, there's Gary McGuinness, that's towards Patalainen on the far side, there's Gary Stevens. I'll pass, pulling it forward, it's picked up now by Sterling for Rangers. That's Kevin Gallagher, now McInally, there's McGuinness, and Patalainen is offside. Caught just about in line as the pass came forward, Hick to Patalainen will be a key player tonight. For Dundee United. That's one intended for Drinkle, but David Neri brings it down. Here's Krivakovic. Challenged by Ferguson, is operating on the left side of a midfield three at the moment for Rangers. Rangers have Sterling on the right side of midfield, Cooper in the middle with Ferguson on the left, and Mark Walter. Walter's providing the option, coming deep from his role in attack. There's Kevin Gallagher. Tackled by Sterland. Well pass quickly in on that challenge with Stevens. The referee has given the foul. And it's against Morris Malpass for handball, I think. The referee will want that free kick taken from the correct spot. And he may also wish to have a word with one of the Rangers players. Indeed, he is speaking to Mel Sterland and Morris Malpass, who became a little bit heated in that exchange. The Stevens. Up goes Neri. Back towards McCoist. He's going to peel some handball among the United defenders, but the referee allowed play to continue, so that was a chance for Rangers. The high ball was won by Neri, breaking down there. There was McCoist bringing it down, turning with a hook shot. And Thompson was well positioned. It's back now with Neri. Here's Paul Hegarty, which is clearance. Alan McGuinness. Two open rows header. Here's Mark Walters. Another bitch towards Sturrock. And Monroe under pressure from Kubogovic sends it back to Chris Woods. United have made a very impressive start to the match. They've taken a very firm grip, especially in the middle of the field. There's Butcher missing out midfield, looking for McCoist. McCoist is free. A golden opportunity for Ali McCoist. Well, the United.
United players looking towards the referee. There was a tangle there, McCoyst with Hegarty. McCoyst with the shot. His trust goes wide, and there was no infringement. That could have been a goal. McAnally trying to find Gallagher with the early pass. Appeared to be caught there by Munro. Free kick goes to United. striker tonight for Dundee United. Atalainen coming from the left. Here's McKinley. Brought down by Sterling. Right at the corner of the box. Free kick to Dundee United. Oh, young Billy McKinley showing his confidence and composure. A fine piece of play. And his legs removed there by Sterling. Has joined by the line and in the box. Jim McAnally with the free kick. Hooked across, but beautifully taken by Chris Hicks. An awkward ball flighted right in on Woods, but that's good handling. Sterling and McKinley again together. There's Gary Stevens. And this time, Drinkle is the player offside. Quite a number of offside decisions already in the match, both ends. Reflecting the diligence of the defenders and the enthusiasm of the forwards. Goes back to line in with Stevens, that'll be a throw to United. She's back with Neri. Down by Goff. <laughs> Kinley to Malpass, there's Stevens. Now Neil Cooper. There's Hegarty's header, uh, it's well controlled by Neri. Kovacovic stepping away from Walters and from Ferguson. Ferguson doing well over Rangers, there's Monroe's pass, here's McCoyst. Now Ferguson, well challenged by Kevin Gallagher. Gallagher stepping away from that challenge. Looking for Sturrock in the middle. Good control and screening there by Sturrock. That's for McAnally. The tackle was by Butcher. Some superb play out there in midfield. Butcher helping McAnally to his feet. was a foul by Neri as the ball was in the air. Going in behind Drinkle. Stevens to Sterland. And it's hit out by Goff. Well, the value of Richard Goff clear for all to see. Racing in there unmarked, a powerful downward head out, and that's a good save by Thompson. Butcher taking no chances, doing the working job on Gallagher for the moment. Sturrock back to McGuinness. Pat the line in challenging Woods. And an error by Chris Woods. Well, that was a real surprise. Only two players here. Patalainen and Woods, and the keeper misjudged it altogether. It came off the head of Patalainen, harmlessly wide. But that's not good for the confidence of Chris Woods. Here's McCoyst. There is pass back, not very convincing. There's McCoyst. Well, McCoyst will be unhappy about that, you can be sure. Here's the error by Neri in the first place. A short pass back. McCoy's closing in, usually so deadly from here, and hooking the ball well wide of the target. Challenged by McKinley and Sterling. Cooper helps it across to Monroe. There's Walters. Coming away from McGuinness. 
Fullback did well. And here's Monroe supporting the attack. And running the throw of Paul Hegarty. First real glimpse there of Mark Walters. He's been quiet so far in the match. Here's Ian Ferguson. That's fine play from Ferguson. Good shot across to Stevens. It's Baltas and now McKinley. McAnally with Gallagher in space. Sturrock goes to the right. Patalainen's on the left. And this is Krivovic. She still has Sturrock outside him. That's not quite what Sturrock intended, but it's reached McKinley. there I think for United as Sturrock's ball across well straight to McKinley and appear to be off the outside of the boot and wide of the target Walters going deep to win possession this is Trinkle trying to play it through for Walters a good recovery tackle by McGuinness and this is Krivogovic challenge came from Butcher and Sturrock the left for United McInally to Malpass there's McKinley right in the middle of the field for the moment picking out Krivogovic with a fine pass here's Sturrock, Krivogovic is onside good move from United and a brilliant goal by Gallagher Kevin Gallagher for United 18 minutes into the first half Wrinkles header, here's McCoy, beaten to that by Hegarty. Good ball led by Stevens to Sterling. Here's Mark Walters. Tackled well by Hegarty. Well, some top class defending there by Paul Hegarty in the end with that tackle. There's Walters again. Now McCoy. This time the tackle was by Neri. A dead two to the United Center defenders again by their teammates. United holding out. Here's Sturrock. Trying to do something on the break. McAnally now across to McKinley and back it goes to Billy Thompson. Well, there really was some superb defending there as Mark Walters chested that down, tried to turn away from Hegarty. And that really was a superb tackle. Is some outstanding play at the moment of the match. United providing a great deal of it, it has to be said. As they defend this one goal lead, here's Morris Malpass. They're allowed to come inside, the shot came off the head of Butcher. Malpass up again with Krupper and Sterland. A neat piece of play by the English international. But here was Malpass, now just see how firmly he strikes this, Butcher obviously felt that. Ian Ferguson into space there, but filled only by Billy McKinley for United. Here's Sturrock, supported well again by McKinley, he's brought down by Ferguson. Well, I think referee John Smith will now take action. Well, it was Billy McKinley who was the victim. He certainly had some tough treatment in midfield. At full stretch there, Ian Ferguson coming in. He was certainly late. And Ian Ferguson may feel a little bit aggrieved about being the player singled out for the yellow card treatment at this stage in the match. Referee Smith undoubtedly feeling that he had to take a firm stand. There have been some tough tackles, but Ian Ferguson hasn't been involved in too many, it's fair to say. Up goes Patalainen, and it's... Sterling that forces the ball forward, an awkward one for McGuinness, there goes McCoy. Superb goalkeeping by Billy Thompson, a very courageous dive at the feet of Ali McCoy. Well, the referee, 
Scotty and Tinya know, but look how courageous Thompson was here. McCoy is going fairly for the ball. That was the view the referee took, and Thompson recovers quickly. Well, that appeared to be obstruction by Cooper on McAnally, but Drinkle now in the break with the early ball inside. But Ali McCoy, there's Malpass. And coolness personified from Morris Malpass. Superb defending once again. Good break, though, by Rangers. Drinkle playing it towards McCoy. Malpass knew he had that under control. Good header down by Butcher. This is Gary Stevens. Here's McCoy. And now Mark Walters. Making for the byline. Back on his left foot now. Good effort by the fullback. Set up for him by Walters. First time shot, crisply struck but way to the target. Well, the referee spotted a deflection there to give Rangers a corner kick right at the end of the first half. We're into time, added on for stoppages now. A spot of treatment for Mel Sterland. Good shot, punched, waiting for the corner kick. Walters plays it across, it's aimed for Butcher. There's Malpass conceding another corner. So United under siege in the closing stages of the first half, and there goes the half time whistle. A tremendous first half, and the only goal coming from Kevin Gallagher, and it really was a goal to save 18 minutes on the clock, McKinley's pass. Here was Krivogovic, and Starak Krivogovic again. I just look for Kevin Gallagher coming in the near post. With that stunning finish to so the half-time score, Rangers nil, Dundee United one. Space now for Walters, this is promising for Rangers. Rivalovic is the first player to challenge Walters. And the block from the cross means a corner kick to Rangers. There's Mark Walters. Butcher is there. Butcher gets a well, and the save by Thompson. Well, Butcher is so dangerous from these set pieces. Look how well he gets up to beat Paul Hegarty. The header difficult under the crossbar until Thompson turned it over. Well, Sterling there on the near post. Butcher and Golf together, waiting to make the run. Walters. Got it down by Hegarty, helped away by Starak. Here goes Gallagher. Challenged by Stevens. Ferguson doing well for Rangers, linking with Sterling. This is Walters. Malpass wins it for United. And Patalainen concedes the throw. Rangers now in full try as they battle for the equaliser. There's Ray Wilkins. Now Walters again. He has to take on Malpass and Patalainen. Well, the cross goes in! Great goal for Rangers! Walter Smith is on the track as Kevin Drinkle puts Rangers back on level terms. Well, the pressure has been mounting on the United defence. The throw by Gary Stevens. There was Wilkins finding Walters. Checking back now to make space for the left foot cross. Delivered beautifully, in came Drinkle. A downward head out of Thompson was helpless. There were six minutes gone in the second half. Rangers and United tied at one goal apiece. And the referee having a word now with Ray Wilkins and Jim McAnally. Something which happened off the ball between the two players. Just listen to the Rangers fans. Here's Mel Sterland. It's blocked by McKinley. Well, the Rangers fans now jubilant. They saw their favourites coming off second best for long periods in the first half, but now it's all square. And Rangers dominating the second half so far. United always menacing when they come forward. There's McKinley. 
Stevens lost it forward. This is David Neri, no mal pass. Looking for Gallagher, it's won by Goff. No Hegarty. Gallagher helps it on. Here's Sturrock, now in space. Faced by Butcher. Playing it low inside, the shot goes in. And a great opportunity wasted by Kevin Gallagher. Well, it was Paul Sturrock breaking through the gap there. Looking up, laying it inside, looking for Kevin Gallagher. No part of the shot, and Woods makes the save. Nice mal pass. And a foul against Sterland. Malpass going to play the ball, and Sterland going in a bit late and a little bit high. And he's free kick. Goff did well. That's Wilkins switching the play again, using Walters. Ferguson racing through in support of Drinkle through the middle. Will Walters. Looks very much in the mood now. And that coming off the United defender and giving Rangers yet another corner kick. Goes Butcher, a powerful header. Returned by McGuinness. Walters riding that challenge well, but he was pushed to the back by McGuinness. Ferguson couldn't control it, but there's going to be another free kick on the halfway line to Rangers. Perhaps the referee wasn't satisfied with the way the quick one was taken. So midway through the second half, Rangers won, Dundee United won. Rangers certainly having the bulk of the attacking play now. That came off Krivanovic for the Rangers throw. There's Drinkle. Back with Wilkins and now Walters again. Wilkins to Monroe. Playing it through for Wilkins. McCoyce! Ferguson, Drinkle trying to go past Hegarty, this is Ian Ferguson, foul passes there, it's Ferguson again, at the line and back defending, but still the pressure's on, there's Sterland, and Hegarty helps it on to safety, Ian Ferguson trying to turn away from Neri, Neri wasn't deceived by that quick turn, here's Pivonovic, tackled by Ferguson, throw to United, Heroically for Rangers. And now Dundee United would like to make a substitution. And there's Alan Irvin. Missed much of the season through injury, and he will replace Paul Sturrock. Off 
Marco Stolak has started the game so well and he's replaced by Irvin. There's Patalainen battling hard now, Gallagher. Brought down by Butcher. Well, he's frustrated clearly the Rangers skipper, but he did appear to bring down Kevin Gallagher. Here's a good opportunity from outside the box for Dundee United. Chris Woods organising the wall. That will be another substitution made by United. The ball will have to go back a little bit further, I'm sure. There's Dave Bowman waiting to come on. He will replace Mir Drag Krivozovic. Ruffy Smith allows the change to be made before the free kick. free kick Billy McKinley over the ball so is Jim McInerney Murphy now appears satisfied it appears to be scarcely 10 yards and McInerney finds the wall in the way and then the second effort none too convincing his mouth pass trying to beat any offside trap Batalanian lays it inside here's Kevin Gallagher Butcher hooks the ball away Gallagher getting up with Monroe. A little bit too vehement with that challenge, and he's been penalised. He had to use an arm when he challenged Monroe for the ball. Well, no question, the arm was up from Gallagher. That appeared to catch Stuart Monroe around the face. And that's why the Rangers pull back these treatments. on the forehead for Stuart Monroe. Well, David Cooper warming up for Rangers, the second Ibrox substitute. Quite a bad cut that on the forehead of Stuart Monroe. I wonder if he will be able to continue. You can be sure he will be very upset indeed if he has to go off. Well, the spoils of battle there. Malpass, there's Gary Stevens. Of course, it's onside, played on by Malpass, a chance now for Rangers, and Malpass goes forward. There's Ian Ferguson and Walters. Finger tipped away by Thompson. And the referee now reacting to the linesman's signal that it is a corner kick to 